Hello, welcome once again to School of the Spirit. I'm so glad to come to us on this platform once again. I consider it a privilege from the Lord and I'm grateful to God that we get to share in the matters of the Spirit on this platform. Insightful truths from Scripture that will accentuate and articulate our work with God, bringing perspective and bringing clear definition in the dealings of the Spirit of God in our lives. I've said it before that God is Spirit, and so to know Him, you must know Him as Spirit and know Him within the context of His realm. And that's what School of the Spirit is all about so that the dealings of God's Spirit in and with your life can be clearly explained and clearly understood. All right, so today we want to discuss more on visions and dreams. And it's partly because I get several emails and text messages, um, especially from people who follow these episodes. So I want us to do a quick discussion on visions and dreams. Now, I believe that we will be able to, at the end of this episode, um, have the link at the description box of teachings that I have done in the past about visions and dreams. So we'll try to make it available for you on the description box. And if you don't find it there, please do well to give us a feedback and let us know uh, about that. In Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12, the Bible records something that I believe is very important in the understanding of visions and dreams. You know, a lot of people have taught about dreams and about visions. So many books have been written about it. However, I believe that um, my job is to bring in a most simple form to you uh, adding to the account of that which has been written or that which has been spoken about so you can have a clearer and a bogus understanding of the concept of visions and dreams and i'll try to simplify it in a way that you can understand um, to be as basic as i can proverbs 20 20 verse 12 says the hearing ear and the seeing eye the lord has made them both of course it's talking about the ability to spiritually perceive by sight or by hearing and he says god is the maker of the eye that can see and the ear that can hear but of course you know for an eye to be able to see it needs to interact with light and for an ear to hear it needs to be able to interact with sound waves Jesus would say, he that has ears, let him hear. But when you travel down to Revelations in the writings of John, it changes it by saying, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Of course, so it's talking about spiritual hearing and spiritual sight. And that's what at best explains to us the concept of visions and dreams. For you to eventually flow in the realm of visions and dreams with greater understanding, you need to have the advantage of seeing, hearing, and also knowing. And we've talked about the knowing of revelation in the previous episodes. But we want to talk about uh, the advantage of sight and hearing in the concept of dreams and visions so dreams and visions are a vehicle for divine communication it's part of god's communication mode to his people if you are born again you will definitely have encounters of visions and dreams i told you in the last episode that the word of god creates visual impression understand that that word of god is not just a book it's a person 
and when he speaks to you as the revealed or the spoken word of god it is also meant to create visual impressions in your minds so visions and dreams are on the same tangent i believe that the difference between the both may just be in significance of symbols characters and objects and uh, the season uh, for the manifestation of each a dream speaks about futuristic occurrences futuristic events the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 that god warned noah in a dream of what was to come the bible spoke about uh, the three wise men or the wise men who came from the east to herod in matthew chapter 2 and the bible says god warned them in a dream of herod's intended harm to the child and because of that they left jerusalem secretly through another route god also appeared in the same chapter to joseph the father of jesus and warned him in a dream because of a future occurrence that was to happen god revealed to him in a dream so dreams carry futuristic events futuristic impressions of futuristic occurrences whilst visions could be real time now depending on the ability of the individual to perceive by sight the visions or dreams may be graphic um, and because of the power of sight the degree of sight that you walk in part time your visions can be graphic very graphic i mean you could literally see what will happen in three days time and everything plays out exactly as you see it okay that it's very graphic doesn't make it a vision or a dream dreams or visions could appear or could be very graphic or detailed in nature that's the thing both visions and dreams are detailed in nature the difference is one is real-time experience you may be seeing something that will happen in a few moments or something happening at that time but dreams will show you what is to come and both of them play a role in prophetic communications if god wants to reveal to his servants the prophet uh, he could come through a vision or a dream the gifts of the spirit can manifest through visions and dreams all right god can give you a word of knowledge about somebody in a dream for instance you are a preacher or let's say you just are a career person randomly you could have a dream tonight see somebody doing something with you wearing a particular clothes at a particular time saying certain words and two days later three days later or 24 hours later it happens exactly that's word of knowledge finding expression through a dream same thing with visions you could look at somebody and in real time god begins to communicate knowledge about that individual's past or present through visions and dreams so you see visions and dreams are almost the same i believe the difference is just in the symbols used now because a dream carries futuristic uh, information of futuristic events uh, dreams will sometimes need you to have an understanding of symbols of colors of objects or individual characters sometimes the person you see may not be that person literally maybe god is trying to speak using the significance of that individual hide either their spiritual significance or their public or secular significance all right so this um, i believe are just the few similarities and differences of visions and dreams but the key to understanding your dreams and visions because it's a very very common vehicle of communication by the spirit of revelation to individual believers the key to understanding your visions and dreams is to harness the power of sight and 
hearing you need to be able to see and to hear in first john chapter one first john chapter one and in verse one john says that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes we have heard we have seen we have heard we have seen so it is audio visual the hearing and the seeing in job chapter 42 in job chapter 42 and in verse 5 you still see the place of seeing and hearing it says i've heard of you by the hearing of the ear but now my eye sees you your seeing and hearing must be well tuned for you to interact with what the spirit of god is communicating to you and for you to have an understanding as a matter of fact the knowings that comes to us in a dream or a visionary experience comes based on the power of sight or the advantage of sight and hearing that we have so one of the things that you need to pray for is that god will open your eyes to see and your ears to hear and i pray that in the name of jesus god will give you the advantage of sight of hearing and even of knowing so you can participate with the holy spirit in real-time visionary experience or in clear clearly revealed dreams in the name of jesus christ i want to give you an assignment the next time you have a dream or a vision write down everything you could see some of us don't have photographic memories and so you'll notice that it begins to lift off of your mind as soon as you have the experience write it down or record it by way of audio on your phone so that you can replay and relieve the experience thereof we trust god that in the episodes ahead we will do more explanations on this but you can check the description box so you can watch some of the videos of teachings we've done on dreams and visions god bless you I'll see you again bye for now